In alhamdulillah wa salat wa salam Allah wa rasulullah. We've just begun a new topic that we're going to focus in for the next few weeks on. And this is the topic called Keys to Living Islam. I started teaching this series about a couple of years ago, several years ago, because so many people embrace Islam or so many Muslims turn back to the truth. And then they have a hard time trying to practice this religion because it's, they don't understand what the lawful is, what the unlawful things are, or they don't even truly understand what a law expects of them. So that's why I started this series, this series up about several years ago. It's called Keys to Living Islam. And it's one of the best series that I teach. Every time I teach it, I get a lot of, uh, of emails from Muslims around the world telling me how it's helped them so much and helped their families so much. And I love to teach it after Ramadan. Ramadan just ended a couple of months ago. And inshallah, everyone should still have that faith boost. Your faith should be boosted up. And remember, we talked during Ramadan about how each day of our lives should be spent remembering Allah and trying to make the most of our time here. Well, this series goes hand in hand with that because I'm giving you keys that you can use in your everyday life that will help you to overcome the hiccups in life, such as coronavirus, such as losing your job, such as not being able to pay the rent or, you know, being single, not having a wife or a husband or wanting children. You know, there are certain uh, 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 things that we can implement into our lives that will help us to get over. Over those those trying situations and today I want to talk about the number one thing well first the number one thing we already talked about yesterday which is determine what team you are on either you are on team Allah or or, or you are on team shaitan if you are on team Allah then that means that you're gonna do everything in your power to try to earn his pleasure. You're going to do everything in your power to obey his laws. And one of the best ways to help in that is to begin your day by remembering him. And let me go into detail about this. When we start our day off in the service of Allah, it brings about so many rewards for us. Number one, you have opened that connection with Allah. And as a result, Allah will fulfill all your needs. He'll relieve you of your worries. You will feel his companionship with you during that whole day. A lot of people tell you how, you know, when they wake up on time and make Fajr, Oh my God, they feel so connected with Allah. But when you miss your prayer, you oversleep, you feel like Allah has abandoned you. You feel like you're on your own. Well, that's what this is. You know, when you start your day off remembering Allah, Allah will be there with you to relieve you of your worries during that whole day. He will also give you the strength that you need to fulfill whatever the obligations you have, such as your prayer. He will give you the strength to go to work and deal with the non-Muslims that you work with. He'll give you the strength to stay awake and make it through the day and come home and cook your dinner and care for your family and all of that. So again, guys, a great key to practicing Islam is to begin each and every day remembering Allah. It starts when you wake up for Fajr. Try to make sure you do not miss Fajr. Set your alarm clock. Get up and make Fajr on time. And then when you go back to sleep, guys, whenever you do wake up, be it 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, say Alhamdulillah. Say Alhamdulillah. 
Thank Allah for putting your soul back in your body. Allah loves for us to thank him like that. You will feel so light. You will feel like you're not alone. So try that, guys. Try it. I'm telling you, it works. Also, if you start the day off remembering Allah, you will find for that day a great love in your heart for him. Because you started the day remembering Allah, it's going to bring you closer to him. You're going to find yourself talking to Allah. You're going to find yourself calling upon Allah when something bad happens. You're going to call yourself calling upon Allah to direct you, to guide you through a, a, any dilemmas you may face. You're going to also find yourself doing many good deeds that you normally wouldn't do. And you will also find yourself repenting from the sins. Oh, Allah, forgive me for that bad word I just said. Oh, God, astaghfirullah, I'm, I'm backbiting. Oh, Allah, forgive me. All of that because you began your day remembering Allah. I'm telling you guys, this works. This really does work. On the other hand, if a person does not begin his or her day remembering Allah, you will find yourself worrying over the things in this world that you can't change. You will be worried about whether or not you get coronavirus or whether or not, you know, things are going to go back to normal. What am I going to do if this happens? A person that worries all the time, this is a person that doesn't remember a law that much. Because when you remember a law, you know that he will be there to help you through whatever the situation may be. People who do not begin their day remembering Allah, these are the Muslims who stress out over their jobs. They stress out over their families and their money. They can't seem to get a grip on their day. They lash out at their children. They lash out at their wives, their husbands. They spend the day so stressed out that they don't even want to make their prayers. They become lazy in making their prayers. They are so stressed out that they don't do any good deeds that are pleasing to Allah. Why? All of this occurs because Allah has left that person to himself due to the fact that that person did not begin his day with his heart attached to Allah. I'm telling you guys. So if you start each day off remembering Allah, Allah will help you to overcome the stresses of life because you will stay connected to Allah throughout that day as you call upon him to guide you, to get you over the hiccups and the bumps in the road. He'll respond. He'll get you over them. And before you know it, it'll be nighttime and time to go to bed and you'll be like, wow, I can't believe it. I made it through that day. I actually made it through that day. I got everything accomplished. I was a success at my job. Alhamdulillah, I made it through. Okay, so again, guys, this is one of the best things we can do. Begin each day remembering Allah. For those of us who don't do this, these are people who are only concerned with the life of this world. They will use all their busy strength, all their strength in the service of the creation instead of in the service of the creator. These are the people who use their jobs as the reason why they don't go to the mosque to pray. They use their jobs as the reason why they don't pray at home. They use their jobs as a reason why they don't even fulfill their obligations to their wives and kids. These people fall victim to the reality of being a slave to the dollar bill because their tongue is filled with the life of this world and service to it instead of service to Allah. You don't want to be such a person, guys. Listen to what the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. He said, perish the slave of the dollar bill and the slave of fine clothing. 
If he is given, he is pleased. But if he is not given those things, he is angry. Let him perish and relapse. And if he is pierced by a thorn, let him find no one to remove it for him. Here the prophet is speaking about those people who are so concerned with the life of this world. Each day of their life is busy focusing on the money, on the dollar bill, on the clothing, the home, the car. They don't think about a law. They don't even find a time for a law. Well, the prophet is cursing these people saying, may they perish. So again, guys, you don't want to be such a person. Listen to what a law says in the interpretation, the meaning. Whoever turns away from the remembrance of a law, we will appoint for him an evil devil to be his intimate companion. So what a law is telling us here is if we don't remember him, if we allow our jobs and the life of this world to become our obsessions, what a law will do as a result is appoint an extra devil to you. And that devil will take you further and further away from a law and put you further and further into the worries of this world. And then you will have no one to help you. You will have no one to help pull you up out of your dark, twisted realities. You don't want that to happen to you guys. So again, to, event, to prevent that, begin each one of our days remembering a law so again when you wake up in the morning don't say oh man let me get to work when you wake up say alhamdulillah alhamdulillah thank you allah for putting my soul back in my body thank you allah for giving me another chance to earn your pleasure and then do a good deeds, like maybe make the do high prayer. The do high prayer is a voluntary prayer that you don't have to pray. It consists of two rakats, and you can pray it any time before noon. So when you wake up, before you take your shower to jump in the, and to go to work, or before you take your sh uh, shower uh, to go shopping or what or whatnot, do two rakats do high prayer. Do two rakats, do high prayer, thanking Allah, you know, for giving you another chance to earn his love. When you do that, guys, you know, you will find yourself ignited. And then when you're driving to work, instead of listening to the radio, instead of listening to all the songs on the radio, Post Malone and all of them, Glorify Allah, praise Allah, say Subhana Allahi wa bihamdihi while you're driving on your way to work. And then when you get to work, when you go to take your 15 minute breaks, make time to talk to Allah. Ask Allah to forgive you of your sins. Ask Allah to keep you strong and firm upon the right path. Ask Allah to make you the best worker you can be, the best husband you can be, the best son you can be, the best Muslim you can be. When you do these things throughout the day, guys, it'll make your day go by smoother. And you will experience a warmth in your heart. That warmth will come from a law. That will be a law's way of letting you know that he hears you, he sees you, and he's with you. And he will help you to get through that day. And before you know it, it'll be time for Isha. And you can sit back and say, wow, another day done. And I can honestly say, I did things that were pleasing to a law and I feel closer to him. And if you should die in, in, in during the night in your sleep, you can take comfort knowing that you're dying in the pleasure of Allah. So again, guys, this is something I want all of us to put to use. Starting tomorrow, when you wake up in the morning, thank Allah. Make the do high prayer. Glorify, praise Allah as you're driving to work. 
And as you're at work, take a break and make dua, asking Allah to forgive you of your sins, asking Allah to keep you humble before him. When you're driving home, remember Allah. Do a good deed. Stop by the store and get something nice for your wife. Get something nice for the children. Get something nice for your neighbor. And then when you come home, do something nice with your wife. Do something nice with the kids. Do something nice for your neighbor. I'm telling you guys, this will make living Islam so much more easier if we simply start our day and throughout the day, remember Allah. On that note, we'll stop right here for today. Tomorrow we're going to continue and this is how the lectures are going to be. Each day I'm going to give you a great key that you can use to help you to practice this religion better. If you put these keys to use, guys, you will find yourself a better person. You will find yourself closer with Allah, in tune with Him. You will find yourself in more submission to Him. You will find it easy to, to stay away from what Allah commands you to stay away from. All you have to do is take the keys and apply them to your lives. Okay? All right. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha ila anta.